Thursday Walkthrough, brought to you by Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Welcome back to the Thursday Walkthrough. Martin O'Donnell here, joined as always by Coach Lovey Smith. And Coach, coming off the bye week, what did you want to get accomplished as a team in that bye week? What did you get accomplished? And uh, let's start there. There's a few things that we, you know, you always want to get accomplished on bye week. Uh, first off, just evaluate where you are, what has happened, uh, you know, previously in the season. We're able to do that. You know, you evaluate as you're going through, but to have a chance to not be pressured to game plan that week. So you want to get that done uh, for our program. Recruiting is a big part of what we would like to do. So uh, the latter part of the week, all of our coaches are able to get out into their recruiting areas. And the third thing is uh, you want the team to have a chance to just recover. It's been a tough four games, so to recover and get ready for this big, this big push coming up. Well, and this is the first of two bye weeks this season. That's kind of a, I don't know if we've done that before, but what do you think about having two of them? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I've never seen where a bye week has come in, a, in a, at a wrong time, but uh, uh, I just love the two bye weeks. I just think it, it's good for our game. You know, the more players, you know, more healthy players you have on the football field has to make our game better for the fans and all that. So I'm excited, of course, about this one, excited about the next one, and I hope that becomes a big part of what we always do. Yeah, agreed. And, you know, taking a quick look back to the Nebraska game a couple of weeks ago, Blake Hayes, Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week. What has he meant to this team so far? And, you know, how helpful is it to you, maybe particularly as a defensive coach and sitting here with your defensive coordinator hat on, uh, to have a weapon like him in the punting game? Well, I think that's exactly what he is, is a weapon. Um, big part of what we need to do. To start, to have success, the best chance to have success defensively is to make them go as far, you know, as many yards as possible and to, to be accurate enough with your kicks to be able to pin an offense back and make them go the distance. It, it's a, it helps us so much. Uh, Blake realizes that he's a part. I mean, he's that 12th defensive player, and the guys really count on him. And, um, and again, he does it well. Uh, in our last game we played, I mean, we got a few takeaways backed up. It was kind of based on him. There's more pressure on an offense to not make a mistake and be safer when you're backed up like that. So we'll continue to rely on him. Well, and talking about relying on people, you know, you seem to be relying on a guy like Dre Brown a little bit more now in the return game and also getting more snaps in the backfield with Mike Epstein being out for the season. Tell me a little bit about Dre, you know, the, the role that he has on this team and, and how you feel he's played to this point and what he brings to the table. He brings everything to the table, on and off. First, off the, of course, graduate, does everything the right, right way, represents the university well. He's married, going to be a great husband, a great father. But on the football field, our players have had a chance to see him fight through adversity, major injuries, and then come back strong. He's also a player, you know, a lot of times running backs want to carry the ball only, but he is a big part of our special teams also. Just don't know where the team would be without him. Uh, you know, valuable, another valuable player that has a big role for our team. Absolutely. Well, and taking a, a look this week, playing against Minnesota, an undefeated team. Obviously, last year, the Golden Gophers coming into Champaign, you know, that was a fun Saturday. But again, that's last year. What, what can you take, what can this team take from that performance against this Golden Gophers team last year and bring to the field this Saturday? Well, I think what you can take from it is that, for the most part, we, we're both running the same offensive and defensive system so some of the things that we had success with uh, they believe in our, our system we believe in ours so we we have an idea of what both teams will do and it just can't come down to execution that's the best game we played since I've been here against them last last year and we'll need that type of effort it's always tougher when you go on the road and this will be a big challenge going against an undefeated team well and that's enough football for now uh, and I know you like movies Maybe we've covered this, maybe we haven't. I don't know. We've done this for a long time now. Do you like scary movies? Love scary movies. Um, it's a Smith tradition. Uh, just about for many years, whenever one night, if we say we go back home for uh, three days or so, one of the nights will be Smith Fright Night. Mm -hmm. We're scary movies, the entire family, Smith tradition. So, yes, I do. Now, is it, is, are you, is it slasher films? Is it like... Halloween or is it more there's something wrong with the house I mean what's the 
What's the genre of horror that's kind of your wheelhouse? It's all of the above. Oh, okay. Anything that would frighten you. Mm -hmm. You're right. It could be uh, uh, dead people coming back. I shouldn't throw that in there, but it could be uh, current things that, that happen to you. The Smiths like it all. Good. Well, you know, and again, I'm shocked, shocked that you didn't give me any specifics. That's amazing. Um, you know, on the topic of being scared, you know, would you prefer to go skydiving or to swim with sharks? You had to pick one. Well, and you can't do both. It's impossible. Oh, I'm not. I don't. I'm not a water person. So okay. swimming with the sharks uh, wouldn't be a part of. That's not something that I want to do before. Yeah. As long as I'm here on this air, skydiving. It's something that would probably be uh, more fun. Would you say you're afraid of sharks? I absolutely am afraid of sharks. Okay, we learned something today, uh, Coach. Thank you for your time, and thanks for stopping by the Thursday walkthrough. The Thursday walkthrough brought to you by Carl, the official health care provider of Fighting Illini Athletics. Looking for a card that gives you more? Illini Visa Rewards Card. Earn points every day to fly any airline, anytime, no blackout dates. The Illini Visa Rewards Card, available only through U of I Community Credit Union.